Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with meteorologist Juan Acuna. Hi everyone, welcome back and a very good Sunday evening to you. A fairly cool night for us here after only hitting the 70s this afternoon, a pretty seasonal day and into the upper 40s early this morning. A live look at our first Community Bank 6 weather bug and a few clouds that are lingering over the area. We are at 61 right now, but our dew point is uh, finally back on the rise. It is now at 56 degrees, which puts humidity at 83 percent. And that's all courtesy of a south southeasterly wind checking in at nine miles per hour. Everyone is holding on to the 60s right now. It's 60 over in Beeville, Orange Grove, Heavenville as well. And right near the coastline, the warmer Gulf of Mexico waters are, of course, keeping the air temperatures a tad bit milder there. 65 in Rockport, 64 out at the Naval Air Station. And that water temperature out at the Packery Channel now checking in at 67. So these dew points were in the 30s and 40s just a couple of days ago. So that means we had the dry air in place, but now they've been replaced with 50s and 60s. So that means it's getting a little bit more uh, muggy outdoors. And as we look at the 24 hour dew point changes, they are anywhere between uh, 6 to 12 degrees higher than what they were. So that just means the uh, moisture level content on the surface is on the way up. And it's because of these southerly winds, even though they're not strong, the southerly wind is coming in at about 6 to 12 miles an hour. And we haven't seen any fog forming yet, so that's some good news. If you have travels right now, everything is still clear. However, as we go into the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning, especially the inland sections of the coastal bend out around Orange Grove, Alice, Kingsville, Heavenville and Farfuria, as you are included, we could start to see that visibility drop below a mile. So use caution on that early morning commute. And as always, be sure to keep your lights on and use caution there right near the coast. We'll look for that to go to about one to three miles before it rapidly improves as we get the sunrise going. Here's the overnight forecast. So again, we're at 61 right now. We will eventually fall into the uh, middle 50s to upper 50s, I should say, here in Corpus Christi, 57 here. 64 out in Port Aransas and into the mid to lower 50s for our inland communities. The day planner for tomorrow, we start off with some of that patchy fog, a mix of clouds and sun at noontime, 78 there and back down to 78 from our afternoon high at 5 o'clock and warm and humid. We'll top out at 81 here in the city as well as up the road in Sitton, mid to upper 80s for our inland communities and right near the coastline will be into the uh, mid to upper 70s. Lots of upper level clouds streaming in just north of the coastal bend. We'll eventually pick up on this as we go throughout the day for tomorrow, but plenty more clouds off near Baja, California that are going to be headed in our general direction. Overall, most of the country is quiet. The last cold front now pushing off the east coast and the next one started to make its way into the upper Midwest where temperatures are already falling into the middle to upper 30s, especially into the upper elevation.